Hey all you future professional engineers, the cool thing is if you're watching this video you're probably getting ready to think about, start thinking about taking the FE, Fundamentals of Engineering exam, uh, offered by an NCES. So if you want to do that, here's kind of the intro, what you need to do to get started, how to register, and some resources that you can use. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to NCES, right? NCES and sign up, create an account. So if you don't have an account, go and create an account. It's pretty easy to do, um, you just put in some basic information. Once you get there, you know, it's kind of nice because when you log in you get this dashboard that the first thing that pops up is your dashboard um, you can go to the exams and in that exams you're gonna register for the exam and when you click on register this is where you have to go in and put in all your contact information right so this is your contact information uh, in addition you're gonna have education information where you need to put in you know where you went to college or high school or, or, or whatever and that'll be verified as well um, and then you know you have to also come back and, and do these other pieces where it, it gets reviewed and then once it's reviewed you're authorized to take the test and you can go and register for the exam and you'll need to pick a state and each state has different uh, requirements so definitely take a look into which state you want to uh, you want to register with right so some states offer you know an EIT certificate once you pass the FE some states don't um, you can be going to school in one state and take this the test for another state right so this is this is a nationalized test um, and, and it works right so just make sure you sign up for the right the right um, licensing board where you're going to be working in the future. All right, the cool thing is one, even if you don't pick the right one, NCES has reciprocity and, and most of the time you can uh, get a transfer to whatever state you wanna work in. So that's kind of step one is to go there and register, okay? So, you know, after, uh, actually after you create your account and uh, register, right, you come in, you do all this, this piece um, and then, you have to pay, right? Pay, currently it's $175, so you wanna pass it. I mean, you don't wanna just throw $175 away again and again and again, but um, you know, do your best if you're looking at this video, you're probably studying, so that's a good thing. So keep studying, keep working hard, and uh, pay the money, and get the certificate. It's well worth the investment, believe me. Once you get this FE, it really opens doors uh, for, empl for employment, right? Once you do that, you need to pick a date and figure out how, when you're, when and where you're gonna take this test, right? So Pearson View is the testing center. You're gonna pick a Pearson View testing center that's close to you, uh, pick a date. Once you do that, once you sign up, they will send you a confirmation letter that says you are good to go. Okay, so that's that's the basics of signing up for the exam. Uh, once you sign up for the exam, uh, hopefully even before that, you're looking at some of the exam prep, right? NCES offers some limited exam prep, right? So in here, for example, they have an FE civil practice exam. So you can click on this, you can, you know, for 30 bucks, you can go and get, this is 100 questions and solutions. So it helps you a little bit. Um, you know, it's it's reasonable. And actually the, the thing is, this is cheaper than Amazon. So if you wanna get the, the FE, um, test the, the civil practice from NCES, you can certainly go do that. It's a, it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. Um, alternately, you know, the other thing is here, you can go and get the reference handbook and you'll notice there's a reference handbook 9.5. And if you scroll down, there's also a 10.0. So get the one depending on when you're going to take the test. So July, 2020 versus pre July, 2020, right? The other thing is, honestly, I probably wouldn't purchase the book unless you really, really want a hard copy of the book. I wouldn't purchase it. And the reason is is because you don't get to use a book on the actual test it's a computer-based exam you need to use the electric version so what I would do is I'd go get the electric version so you might be wondering well where is that and you'll notice it's not here under the exam prep you have to come back to the dashboard so when you come back to the dashboard on the right hand side here there's view reference handbooks under useful documents so definitely go there you know definitely look through some of these other pieces like exam day policies uh, download NCS exam and examinee guide and also you know the calculator policy there's another video on that um, but the reference handbooks here are something you'll want to download right away and get used to so uh, again depending on when you think you're gonna take the test if you think you're gonna take it you know before June 30th 2020 use handbook 9.5 and after that look at handbook 10.0 so that's a personal decision depending on when you want to take the exam but th basically here you can go right ahead you can download whichever you know book you want it'll come right up and you'll have access to it where you can search you know all 300 pages and I was just talking about this with somebody else and said do you know everything in those 300 pages? And my 
answer was no, I don't. You know what? And that's okay. You're not going to know everything either. But th that's why you have a handbook so that you can come in and you can get some of this stuff and, and you can reference it and know where to find it. Okay. So hopefully, hopefully you get really used to it and, and come exam day, you, you know how to use it. Okay. So real quick, you know, what you want to do is you want to go in, you want to create your account. You want to come to your exam, you want to fill out all the, you want to register for an exam, fill out all the information, wait for authorization, go register for your exam. In the meantime, what you're going to want to also do is you're want, going to want to get some of those exam prep materials. Definitely, definitely look at the reference handbook. Um, some other FE prep materials, it, you know, it, is could be the, the Lindbergh FE Civil Review, uh, the, you know, the civil practice. And if you're taking a course with me, the cool thing is you get the access to this book, which is a hundred dollar book you get access to uh, you know this book which is another hundred dollar book uh, for four months right and, and you can rent this too right so even renting 50 bucks and you know 90 bucks here but um, the, the cool thing is if you're taking the course uh, that I, I get to offer you guys, um, you get all you get the access to these books, plus you get uh, access to thousands of questions and, and complete exam guides for 95 bucks for four months. So it's a good deal. Definitely, you know, sign up for that uh, through PPI through the with the access code that I, I'll send out to you. So, um, you know, if that's something that's interest that you're interested in, uh, you know, maybe look for a university near you that's offering a similar course. OK, so this is this is through. Uh, my university where we offer a course on the FE uh, review or an FE seminar. So we have a, a code for the students that take the course through us. Otherwise, there are some other uh, universities out there that have similar courses if you want one closer to you. So hopefully we get an online version of this course up uh, that you can sign up for as well. So if you want information with that, you definitely feel free to drop a comment. Otherwise, hopefully this helps and you know what resources to get. I'll put some links uh, in the description below. So, hey, if you have questions, let me know. Drop a comment. Otherwise, keep working hard. Moving onward and upward.